blessed will you be. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So welcome to all, but especially welcome to all our uh, school children. Uh, we want to welcome you and hope you've joined us for this first Friday. We have the tradition to have a big all-school mass on a, every first Friday of a month. Um, so, yeah, we know you're not with us physically, but I'm glad you can join through the video and participate as we begin a new month, um, month of May, which is traditionally dedicated to Mary. Uh, but we have a feast day today of St. Joseph. Uh, May 1st is the feast day of St. Joseph the Worker. He gets two feast days, so this is kind of his second one. Um, and this really emphasizes the work he, he did uh, as a carpenter. So St. Joseph the Worker. So brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed the, next, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth, and all their array, were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, 
From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give, give success, success to the, to the work, work of our hands. hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, are as a watch of the night. Lord, give, give success, success to the work of our hands. Teach us to remember our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, return, O Lord how long, how pity on your servants. Lord, give, give success, success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary? And his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas, are not his sisters all with us. Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. All right, welcome again to all our youth watching. I know adults are watching too, so I'll try to make this more youthy. Um, whatever that means. Youth, more, but okay. But uh, yeah, to all our uh, children at home, I know these are weird days that you're home. It feels like, in a way, I, I'm guessing, that school kind of got out, but then you were robbed. School's not out, you still gotta work at home. You gotta do homework. Maybe your parents are making you do chores while you're at home. So it's not summer break. And I'm betting you kinda feel the pain of that. Uh, Cause it's hard when you go home and you're not in the school. Uh, and now you gotta still do work. Well, um, let's think about that, you know? Do you guys like work? You know, do you like doing chores? I can imagine some of you raising your hands, yes, but probably many of you no, no probably like no. Do you like doing homework? I bet some of, the, some of you do. Some, most of you probably don't. It probably depends a little bit, there's some some things we like to do more than others. As I always like math. I always. Some of you don't like math. Yeah, for me, writing a paper that was the hardest thing. What do I do as a priest? I'm writing papers all the time. Not I write articles. I got to write homilies. Of course, I didn't write mine today, so we'll see. We'll see where it goes. But work, work is life. Even in your youth, and all us adults, we remember. We look back fondly on our childhood. 
because there was probably less work. But you think about it, we all had to work as kids. Maybe not a job, you know, not an eight to five. But we, we probably had to do chores and we probably had to do homework, of course. Well, Jesus did too. Uh, he worked because today's feast day is St. Joseph the worker. Jesus' earthly father, so really God, the father. Jesus is God. He's the part of the Trinity. Um, he's the son. Um, that's his true father. But on earth, Joseph you know, adopts him, or he's just, you call him a foster father. Uh, Joseph did that earthly role for Jesus. Mary was Jesus's mother, well, was, is. <laughs> and uh, so Jesus grew up like we did. He had to work too. He probably had chores in the house. His father, Joseph, was a carpenter. Jesus, I think absolutely, I think without a shadow of a doubt, worked with his dad in carpentry. Jesus would have done things for his mother, Mary. And that was most of Jesus' life. We gotta remember, Jesus died, traditionally we say, age 33, which is kinda really young. I'm 43, so I think I'm, yeah, I'm 43, right? Whatever I am. <laughs> uh, you get, when you get older, you forget how old you are. Um, but Jesus died at 33. Most of his life was not his like ministry and preaching and healing. Probably only in the last three years. Three years he did that. I've been a priest 13 years. Of course, Jesus is three years equal a billion of my years because Jesus is Jesus and I'm just poor Father Greg. Um, three years of his ministry, but that means 30 years in home with like his dad or his earthly father, um, St. Joseph. So Jesus spent a lot more time working at home or in the carpentry business. And that's what the gospel kind of relates. Jesus goes home to his native place. And what happens? People get offended at him because Jesus is doing a different kind of work all of a sudden. He's suddenly a prophet or more than a prophet. He's Messiah. And they, they, they don't get it because they just see him. Isn't this the carpenter's son? And he that guy that went around with Joseph and they helped fix my house. Or they, they made me a table. Or they made a, a yoke for my oxen. They see Jesus as that kind of worker. But now Jesus is a miracle worker. And more than that, he's God. He's God. God works. We heard about God's work in the first reading. What did God's greatest work? Creation. How long did it take God to make the world? God could have done it like that, but biblically, we, we, it's sort of poetic, really. Six days, God makes it all. And then the seventh day, God rests. So we heard about that in the first reading. So Jesus worked, we work. Uh, when I grew up, I worked. I grew up on a, a farm, hog farm. So believe me, sometimes I had to work. I didn't always like it. In fact, I almost never liked it. But looking back at it, um, I see it a little differently. So this is my advice, is that we really gotta get the right attitude. It's all about attitude. And that's where God comes in, because God gives us the right attitudes. How should we think about work? How do we do our work? Do we do it sloppy or do we do it well? Does God have anything to say about that? Um, how do we feel about it? Um, all those sorts of things. This is where God comes in. Um, and this is so important for young people because I think I'm still learning this lesson. Because when I grew up, I just didn't like to do work. I tried to avoid it. I tried to hide from my mom and dad <laughs> when they wanted something done. Uh, when they asked me to do something, I tried to do it as poorly and quickly as I could and uh, get through it. You know, if they said, uh, sweep the floor, well, I would, I would certainly wouldn't pick the rugs up. And then they're like, did you pick the rugs up and shake those out? No, well, or maybe, I don't know if I said no or not, but hopefully I told the truth. I always tried to tell the truth. But, uh, and I just didn't like it. I just wanted to get done with work so I could get on to, to play. And I think even as adults, we may feel that too. But it's not the right attitude. 
Jesus spent most of his life working, which means it's a holy thing. Uh, he didn't just skip over and when Jesus got to age 12, he's like, okay, I'm done with that junk. I'm moving on to the good stuff. I'm gonna be Messiah now. No, he spent most of his life to age 30 working far more, like 10 times more than he did in his miracles and preaching. Work is good. It's holy, it's noble. God worked. He made the world. God is working right now. He never stops working. Uh, it's what God does. He's still creating. If he stopped, if, and, in, and God, it's, it's really by thought. He just thinks it, and it is. But if he stopped thinking of you, I think we just dis, you disappear. Because we're always being worked by God. It, we are his works. We are the works of his hands. We're like God's the, their image in Jeremiah, the prophet, where God is the potter. We are the clay. You know, how you, you, if you got youth, youth people made uh, some amount of whatever you call it, clay or pottery. I, don't, I, I never, I don't think I ever did that. Maybe I did that. But you form something out of the clay. Jeremiah uses that in his prophecy that God is the potter and we are the clay. He's always shaping us, forming us. He's always working. So the right attitude for us is work is good and holy. And that means we don't avoid it. It means we don't just try to get it done quickly and then we move on to the good stuff. Work is the good stuff. Now we need rest too. We don't work 24 seven to the bone. It's also holy to rest in the right proportion. God rests on the seventh day. So we need a little rest, recreation. But a lot of our time is spent in some sort of work. And for young people, that's your schoolwork, but it could be um, chores as well. And what we wanna do is do them like Jesus. Did Jesus do his work poorly? So that when he came to Nazareth, they're like, oh, you're that kid who made me the broken table. I don't think so. <laughs> they probably thought, you know, Joseph did good work and you know his son, he did good work too. Because we did, there's another option for readings uh, it's from St. Paul of Colossians. St. Paul said, whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Do everything in the name of, Lord, of the Lord Jesus. So whatever we do, we're doing it in Jesus' name, which means we do it well. And when we do things well, I, I think it's because there's meaning and purpose. Um, I'm doing this for Jesus. That's the meaning. That's why it's important I do it. And I do it really well. Sometimes we do it for other people. I'm doing this work for others. I need to do it well. Think of doctors and nurses right now. They're doing a great work in, uh, caring for the sick. People have the coronavirus. Think of scientists who are researching the vaccine. How important is their work? All that work, their studies, are really making a difference right now to save lives. But so too, the person in the grocery store, that work is noble, feeds us. There's a little risk, because a lot of people are there, they could get sick. I think of um, my uh, sister and my brother-in-law, they still have the farm. Um, my dad's retired, and um, he's done his share of work. Uh, but they, they are still raising pigs to feed us all. It was a little dicey. I know my sister is really worried that they're shutting down the pork packing plants. And they're like, all this work is for nothing. Because they're going to have to like euthanize pigs. I think it's going to be okay. I haven't talked to them the last few days. Uh, but just think about that. All that work is really to feed us and take, take pride in that. Uh, I'm, but whatever our work is, there's meaning in it. We're doing it for others, but we can do it for the Lord as well. And we don't just do it for God, we do it with God. God is not just our boss. Okay, God says, do this, do this, do this. Uh, no, 
God is, hey, join me in this work. Jesus is working with us always. That's what I do as a priest is always, and if I get it wrong, I, it, it's, my priesthood can be a burden. But when I do it right, I remember, you know what? It's not me, it's Jesus. And I get the privilege every day of working with Jesus. And so I get to see miracles, like people forgiven and uh, lives changed. It's not me doing it, it's Jesus. And I'm just working with him. And how, how cool is that? So we gotta have the right attitude. God gives us the right attitude that work is holy, it's good. We gotta do it well. Um, but also, we don't do it alone. We do it with Jesus. Isn't work easier when you got somebody working with you? Like, hey, let's do the dishes together. Or here, I'll do, you're like your mom and dad saying, here, I'll help you with that math. Let's do it together. It's a lot easier, isn't it? Jesus is working with us always. Joseph, the worker, um, he worked hard. But guess what? Jesus worked hard too. And Mary worked hard. And that is holy. So work hard. Uh, finish strong the school year. We will get to summer. Hopefully it'll be a good summer. And uh, we'll get to play more. But there's always work, even in the summer. Mowing the grass, whatever. Um, and that is good, noble, and holy. So um, we, the ultimate work is God's work. He's going to do a work here at the Mass. It's God doing it. And work is for you. Even if you can't be here, the Mass is a prayer offered. And it really benefits us all. So we'll be praying for you. So let's work hard. Work with St. Joseph and Jesus. Let us lift up our prayers. To pray is, is a work, a work for others. Uh, we want to pray well always. So we pray for the church and all the works of the church uh, and all workers who work in God's vineyard, the church. So preachers and uh, religious sisters, ministers of all sorts, um, that we may be faithful and working for the Lord, bring many souls to Christ, and help those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for uh, all, um, all people who, who work. They may find meaning in their work, may be noble, uplifting. And for those who don't have work, those who are unemployed and uh, feeling the pain of that, they may find a meaningful work soon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all who work uh, for our health in this time of the coronavirus, so especially for uh, those on the front lines, doctors, nurses, uh, first responders, uh, those working for a vaccine. The Lord may bless them and protect them, uh, help them to do the best they can do in their work of, of caring. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, who suffer, the overburdened, the grieving, the dying, those who are alone or afraid, that they may know they, they don't go through that alone, but always uh, Jesus is with them. May they receive the strength they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Certainly for all our, our students, they may work hard in their studies. Um, that they may find enjoyment and meaning in their work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we then offer the Mass, the work of this Mass. Uh, one for the soul of, I offer for Louise Couser on the 11th anniversary of death. She may be uh, rest from her work in the Heavenly Kingdom. Father Swami offers his work, his mass, for a special intention of Mamatha, um, somebody I think from back in his home. Uh, we offer those masses for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our personal prayers in the silence of our hearts. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for the gift of work. We can be like you on this earth and do good works. Uh, we ask all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with you your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. On, and on the commemoration of Saint Joseph, you give to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and, and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son. Who is conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven, the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O oh Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, the worker, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. to God through him. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph, Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just the announcements. Um, Let's see, today, uh, Friday, first Friday, uh, beginning of May, so uh, May is dedicated to Mary, so let's do lots for Mary. There is a May crowning. I know that school produced some sort of uh, thing you can watch. I think you can do that anytime, but at your own home, you should, if you have a statue of Mary, we have one. That's right behind Father Swami here, but, uh, but crown Mary in your own home. Uh, today, I will have my being with God at 930 if you're bored or, or you need to fall asleep or something, uh, 
Go tune in to that, uh, 9.30 today. Two o'clock is a really big deal. Uh, so all the bishops of the United States and bishops of, of around the world have been doing this. Canada's doing it today. But all the bishops of the United States are re-consecrating our nation to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Uh, how cool is that? Reconsecrate uh, that we're really dedicated to her and she brings us to Jesus. I think it's going to make a difference. They're doing a, so Archbishop Downman will be doing a, a service at two o'clock and you can tune into that. Um, just, I don't know, find it on, online, go to the Archdiocese website. I know we've been promoting out links to it as well. Uh, and the only other thing, so the governor did issue the state regulations going forward. Uh, last night. It wasn't as great as I thought. I thought we were going to get bigger numbers, so I'm unsure. i got to see what the diocese will permit us to do, but it sounded like 10, so um, gatherings are limited to 10, so that's probably going to mean more of this in some capacity, uh, but I'm going to find that out. As soon as I know anything, of course, we, I let you know, but I just don't know yet what I can do. Uh, but as soon as we can, we will gather, and because we really want to do that for you and with you. Uh, so I think that's it. Um, uh, thanks for tuning in and um, you know, May is the month of Mary. Don't forget that. The Lord be with you. And, and with you your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, thanks be to God. God.